We live in a world filled with anxiety over finances, security, and material success. Yet in the middle of these concerns, Jesus offers a powerful challenge through his words in Luke 12 verse 31. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. In this Bible study, we will unpack the meaning of this verse, looking at the context in which Jesus said it and the importance of seeking God's kingdom. Context Luke 12 is part of a larger teaching where Jesus speaks to his disciples about avoiding the worries of daily life. Starting from Luke 12 verse 22, Jesus tells them not to worry about basic needs like food or clothing. Instead of being anxious about how these needs will be met, Jesus points to God's care for creation. He highlights the birds, which do not store up food, and the flowers, which do not labor or spin. Yet, God provides for them abundantly. Then comes verse 31, where Jesus delivers this instruction, but seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. These things refer to the necessities of life that people often fret over. Jesus tells his listeners to shift their focus away from worry and toward God's kingdom, promising that when they do so, their needs will be met by God himself. Key Phrases Seek his kingdom To seek God's kingdom is to prioritize his will and reign in our lives. This is not just about attending church or doing religious activities, but aligning our entire existence, our thoughts, actions, and desires with God's purposes. It means living by God's principles of love, justice, mercy, and righteousness. These things will be given to you as well. Jesus assures us that when we make seeking God's kingdom our main priority, God will take care of our daily needs. This doesn't imply that we will live in luxury or never face difficulties, but it does promise that God will provide what we truly need to live according to his purposes. Application, how to seek. Seeking God's kingdom starts with nurturing our relationship with him. This involves daily prayer, studying the Bible, and seeking his guidance in every decision we make. By making time for God every day, we center our lives on Him. Trust in God's provision. One of the most challenging aspects of this verse is learning to trust God. Often, we feel the pressure to control every aspect of our lives, but Jesus calls us to relinquish this control and trust that God will provide. We can combat anxiety by reminding ourselves of God's past faithfulness. Align your life with kingdom values. Living with a kingdom mindset means reflecting God's love and righteousness in how we treat others. It involves showing compassion, acting justly, and living generously. Instead of chasing after material success, we are called to pursue things that have eternal value. Share the gospel. Part of seeking God's kingdom is actively participating in the spread of his message. Whether through words, acts of service, or being a witness in your community, every believer has a role in extending God's kingdom on earth. Luke 12 verse 31 offers us both a command and a promise to seek God's kingdom first, and in doing so, trust that he will provide for our needs. This is not merely a suggestion, it is an invitation to a transformed way of life, one that is free from the endless chase after material security and is instead rooted in the assurance of God's provision. Jesus' words are a call to step away from fear and into faith. The kingdom of God is about much more than just following rules or attending church services, it is about allowing God's reign to govern our hearts and our decisions every day. When we seek his kingdom first, our priorities shift. We begin to live with a purpose greater than ourselves, and the concerns that once seemed overwhelming start to lose their power over us. This promise is a reflection of God's faithful character. He knows our needs before we even express them, and he delights in meeting them when we turn our hearts toward him. Let this verse challenge you to reevaluate where your heart lies and what you prioritize. Ask yourself, 
What would it look like to truly seek God's kingdom in every area of your life? As you align your life with his will, trust that God is not only aware of your needs but also abundantly able to meet them. Seek his kingdom first, and watch as he provides all the things you need, not necessarily in the ways you expect, but always in ways that reflect his deep love and care for you. By seeking his kingdom above all, you'll discover a life marked by peace, purpose, and the fulfillment that only God can give. Amen. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for Bible studies and more uplifting messages.